My name is Jonathan. I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, and I want to say you're watching Omar Goss TV. Today I'm visiting a hidden gem located off the east coast of South Florida. Many people are unaware it exists, including locals due to its location. Its dark history dates back to the 1960s during the Cold War that nearly escalated into an all-out nuclear attack. Because of this threat, a secret nuclear bomb shelter was created for President Kennedy and his family on an island not far from West Palm Beach. There are no roads to this island, making it only accessible by boat or helicopter. What's going on everybody? We just got off the boat. This is Peanut Island. Really nice hot spot, especially on the weekends. This is probably the busiest that you'll see it. But you can see how nice this water is, man. Look at it. It's like crystal clear water. It's beautiful. There's people snorkeling through here. Very beautiful. Uh, we're about to hit up a secret bunker. A lot of people don't know about it. It was created for the Kennedys. President Kennedy during the whole Cuban Missile Crisis thing. If I were you, I'd Google it. It was a dark time in our history, but yeah, they were about to bomb the crap out of this area. And this is actually nuclear, it's a nuclear bomb shelter. And then they tore it down, and then they did use the helicopter. Has he got, he's actually been here before? He's been in the bunker, yeah, he's been all over this property. Yeah, he's been all over this property. We're not supposed to really be filming okay, here. Because there's like a lot of inspectors coming over here and they're trying to, they're very protective. They're trying to make this into like a resort. You know, I don't blame them. But I'm really just trying to show you how awesome of a timepiece this is. This was used to protect President Kennedy and his family because they lived here in the area. His family did West Palm Beach. Here's one of the ladders that they would probably use to either go up or down. I'm wondering if they actually had to use this a couple of times. I'm sure they actually weren't. This place is solid. Hey. If the end of the world is going to happen, you might want to come over here and claim this area or make friends with someone who's in here. Zombie apocalypse. There must be a lot of moisture under here because they have this dehumidifier. Seawater and all the ocean beyond, fresh water, went and mixed together. Now here is the inlet, so when you guys walk in, it stops the same inlet, and it's amazing because that was 1919 when they did it, it's 2016. The cruise ships and everything go through it, it works like that, it's great. Now, upstairs, the Coast Guard went. So when they would come down their barracks and go down those stairs, this, see how this Miami Dade Pine is kind of got a slant? Well, there was three, not railroad tracks, but three tracks on the show. Okay, this is the tracks that were on the floor, and these were the, the boathouse. Oh, I mean, neato. So you guys can pass that. Did you kids see this already? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have one more. So here. Now when you go out here and then you see that deck over there, to the left you're going to see these remnants. Oh, the remnants of that? Yeah. Oh, nice. They're still out there. If you wonder what it is, it's because of the track. Who lives in that house now? That, it's like the... It's the house right there, oh, I guess. Coast Guard house? Um, yeah. Sometimes we have guests stay, uh -huh. uh, you know, our director stays there. I was way off about them not wanting people to shoot video. And I guess one of the main reasons was, is if you see this place on video, it'd make it where you don't want to come see it in person and it'd kill the tourism. That is like the biggest, I don't know. I, 
I would think it'd be the opposite. In fact, I know it would be because a lot of people don't know about this place and they would want to come see it in person and be like, you know, hey, I want to go see that place that was in that video because it's neat and I want to experience it for myself in real life. It's almost like when you see a landmark or something on TV, maybe even in a movie. We'll use the, the Rocky statue as an example. I wouldn't be surprised if there's people that live close by that never even knew about that bunker. So anyways, I want to give them a shout out. They're obviously trying to protect their historic landmark and they have a right to do so. If you're in the Florida area, South Florida area, Miami, this is, I want to say 45 minutes away from Miami, go check it out. Experience it for yourself. It's a really neat place. And this whole island is neat, but you know what? Come early, because we came late and we only have like a couple hours to spend here. This is the campground on Peanut Island. I don't think it really costs a whole lot of money to stay here. And honestly, you could come anytime during the year. It's gonna be nice and warm with a cool breeze. It's not like some trashy campsite. I mean, it's, it's very, very kept up. And the people that stay on this island and you know, the groundskeepers, they, they do a really nice job. I mean, there's a lot of natural beauty here, but sure, you still have to keep on top of landscape and things like that. And this, this place is just beautiful. You really will feel like you're on vacation if you come here. Look at that tent right there. It's like a two-bedroom tent. Oh, this is living right here. I wouldn't ever want to go home. Only when a hurricane comes, though. Yeah, I'll leave the tent. I did get a little bit of information too. Only like VIP people, like uh, people in office and I don't know, special people get to stay in that house right there. And they're gonna find out if maybe we can stay there. You know, I'll bring my cameras. We could uh, maybe do like a ghost tour because I hear it's haunted. And yeah, pretty neat place. I think the Kennedys used to actually stay there on vacation. It's probably one of the only houses here no one lives there. Some people did. I'm not sure why no one lives there anymore. Oh, well, I can think about it. It's haunted. the ocean but one thing I don't love about it is some of the sea life sharks stingrays jellyfish as we were in there enjoying a nice salty swim there was a couple jellyfish that went right past us I swear I even felt them touch me <laughs> I like to bring you guys back when maybe I could stay at that house you know let me know in the comment section if you guys want us to go stay stay at that house and also, if you guys want to, you know, maybe come along with me for more exploration type things like this. My buddy James is the one that found this bunker, and it's kind of still a secret. I really encourage you guys to come check it out if you're in Florida. I mentioned this earlier, but, you know, really, come check it out. Also, I would encourage you to go check out my vlog channel. I have a channel where I do more like cut and dry. It's just me. It's my family. A lot of fun on there people really enjoy it they find it entertaining anyways i appreciate you guys watching thanks for coming along on our adventure see ya real soon peace hey check it out man i'm walking over here and this kid drives by he's like hey are you omar gosh tv here give me a hug man how are you hi what's the picture with you so <laughs> hey let's take a picture one two that's awesome oh yeah. uh, you're welcome Oh, you're from Dallas? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. You on vacation? Yes. Well, we live here. They're visiting us. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to see you. What's your name? Andres. 
Andres, okay, Omar, nice to meet you. Look how happy he is, man. Look at this guy. What's up? Say hi, you want to be in my video? Sure. All right, hi. you gonna be in my video.